Yep. Peace reflection. It's my stitch repair. I was like, fuck it. Let me just get on. Yo, my hair is crazy. Starting to lock up, dude. Starting to actually lock up, bro. That's how we get it. I wanted to take this time out to address pretty much every religion because we as human beings on this planet we have certain we have certain beliefs i don't even want to i don't even want to call them beliefs because it's really just dogma you know and if you look at what dogma is it's really just being told being told what to focus on if you look up if you look up anywhere the definition of 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 dogma is a principle or a set of principles laid down by an authority as incon incontrovertibly true so if you look at what dogma is then that's 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 saying that there's somebody over you you're 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 just you're just letting it be known that you're you don't have any control over yourself you're letting someone else control you whoa you know over here Yeah, but come on in the room, family. Come on in the room. Reflection, let's get it. So, you have to know that you do control your reality. There's, there's no one, peace reflection, there's no one that can make you believe something that you don't want to believe. You got to take control. You have to take you have to take the wheel back in your life. You have to understand that your mind is operated by a dimension that is not even nobody nobody in this dimension can control the dimension where your mind is is streaming from. You're streaming from straight consciousness, straight, which is, which is nothing. You're coming straight from the nothing. So you have to understand that when it comes to, when it comes to this realm and, and laws and, you know, what other people are policed by, we're not ran by that. We, we don't, we don't get run by those laws. We, we can maneuver in and out of those situations because of how how our our conscious is, how our mind is. You have to realize that all it is not only not only is it yours in a sense, because we know you can't own anything in this realm, but it is you. You can't you can't own anything that you are. Uh you can't you can't own anything that you are reflection like like we talk about the inanimate objects around us and we we place value to them you know we place value on material things so we we instantly put possession to it you know if you really want to truly become enlightened stop using words like like you they, me, if you use, if you use I, you know, some people even use the word one, you feel me? Some people just be like one, one to everything. We, 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 at Carbonation here, we should, we should really, we should get in and just start saying one, like, yo, one, you feel me? One, one, one is about to go, you know, drop a pot <laughs> or something, but now nah, reflection, don't get, don't get, uh, don't get caught up though. Don't get caught up because you, you got to understand the placebo effect. 
You feel me? Whatever you pay attention to, whatever it is that you believe in, is going to multiply. Now, this placebo effect is... It's terrible. Like you have to you have to know that negative energy cannot 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 reach you. You have to you have to you gotta fight it, yo. Like I like I can't even there's there's not even much that that to be said. Like if you're if you're a, a wise person, you're not gonna fall for the okie doke. You know, you're not just gonna let somebody tell you whatever. And just believe it. You're gonna do your research. You feel me? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're either gonna not agree with that person and take take your opinion and go look up some information, go get some research to to back up what you believe is facts, or you're gonna have to go to that person straight up you're gonna have to go to them and you're gonna have to come with compassion you're gonna have to come with 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 you know both sides of the story you feel me you're not just gonna you, you have to be a good judge yeah in this in this room you have to be a good judge of character you can't you can't just come to somebody with one side of the story and and then hear their perspective hear the person that if you if you disagree with their perspective, then you know you're not supposed to just hear what they say, and then talk to them with the other side of the story. You're not supposed to just you're not just supposed to talk to them like 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 you, dude. That you can see like that 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 pisses me off. It irks me just just like. Why would you why would you take one side of the story and bring that to the to to court? You basically you're basically taking this person to court if you're if you're only gonna take one side and it's unfair. It's it's you gotta you gotta you gotta be fair, man. You gotta be extra fair, bro. Like that's why, you know, the honorable commander in chief, my higher self, Master Chief Allegio to Christ, he I see I see how he makes his judgments. Like he's he's so fair. Like he's he's patient. I mean in this room you gotta have a lot of patience as well just to deal with with, with the people that are one sided, you know, that, that will take one side of the story. And you know, I've I've dealt with that a lot in my, my you know, I've experienced that a lot in my uh, all throughout my life, you know, it's just you know, one person having their side of the story and then coming with, with, with people to come stone me, yo. Like, you don't, you don't want to find yourself in this situation. That's, that's another thing. Like, when, when you, when you're around people that, that are stoning you, you have to, you gotta be, you gotta be patient with them as well. You have to get them to understand your point of view. Because people will very easily, you know, take that and and try to cash you out just from, you know, just from you 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 just trying to be you. You feel me? And they won't they won't let you be you. They'll just take that side, and and they'll end up they'll end up stoning you for it, man. Like. So you you are you are a cell inside of your body. You are everything and everything is you. So the people that are stoning you, they're basically just reflections of you. Your 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 light is being refracted in a way that when when you look out you see you see symbols of yourself because truly you're just a you're just a program you're just 
getting you're just getting this uh it's like you got a CD, right? And you're you're the all, like you're all knowledge. Say you're the DVD player. You know, you you have capacity for all. But this potential that you want to play out is the CD. So you boom, you pop the CD in. That's your astrological program. That's your that's your program. So once you get once you put your program in, then boom, everything lights up, right? You know, you turn the TV on, press play, boom, everything. You get the main screen, you get the play button, you get you get everything in this DVD, right? And then there's certain demographics to the DVD, like, oh, you play the movie, you can go to scene select, you can go to options, you can go to setup, you know, things like that. This is the same this is the same thing with you. You feel me? And all the different parts of you what you what you think in your mind, this is what, what goes into the placebo effect, because what you think in your mind is going to manifest out into your reality. And it's gonna be one of the it's gonna be one of the demographics that you have in your mind. This is important to understand because when it comes to dealing with obstacles, when it comes to uh, you're, you're trying to be successful in, 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 you know, whatever it is, you know, your life purpose is, you know, should be getting back to the tropics, but it's going to, you're going to see it manifest right in front of you and you're going to have to overcome that obstacle. And the only way that you can overcome that is to know and study yourself. You have to know that, okay, I think, I think this way, you know, like, like me, I'm a, I'm a sun Pisces and a moon in Pisces. So, and it's in the the sixth house. They're, they're both in the sixth house. So I'm going to be feeling very deeply. Like I have a, I have a deep connection to, to people, just people in general. And I analyze a lot at the same time. So I'm thinking, I think a lot. You feel me? So I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about everything all the time. Like all the people, all, like I'm thinking about. So I'm going to have to know. And it's, and it's like an empathetic thought. So like I'm very, I'm very uh, uh, sympathetic to people that are around me. Peace, reflection. Peace, Tanisha. Um, so... So I have to know, like, yo, you know, I have to, I have to be able to tap into my emotions. But since I'm a, emo- I am an emotional creature naturally. I need to know when to to cut off my emotions, because because I have that that sun in Pisces in the sixth house, moon in Pisces in the sixth house. I have to know limits like i have to i have to know limits because that's that's what my energy is streaming so with that you have to you have to know what to get past you have to know what what obstacles to overcome if you have if you have any attachment issues let it go bro like if you if you are if you are if you're holding on to things that are bringing bring you down to a to a negative frequency, then you have to you have to know to cut it off. Me, I didn't I didn't know when to cut it off. You feel me? I would I would overindulge because because I had uh, such you know my sensories my sensory pleasures like. I wanted I wanted a lot of luxury. I had to have a lot of luxury around me and I had to know I didn't know when to cut it. Like I I wouldn't know. Like it would it would have to blow up in my face just for me to cut it off. You feel me? I didn't know when to uh when to let things go. Um I, I didn't know uh you know, I didn't know who I had around me. You know, because I was just getting into relationships with, you know, with whoever, you know, I'm, 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 I'm the kind of guy that's like, 
I, I think I think about it and the fact that I keep thinking about it, like like my chart is crazy. Yo. Like I'll be I keep thinking, bro. Like I'm always thinking. And you know, I act I act only when I'm when I'm when I have a when I have a, a like a hundred percent analysis on something. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't mess with people too much because I understood like like I had to learn real young, like to be wise, to to learn from other people's mistakes. So if I seen people making mistakes, I wouldn't I just wouldn't hang around them. You feel me? So that kinda that kinda pulled me that kinda pulled me a, a, a certain way. And I'm grateful for that. Now it's like, you know, I'm sitting here giving out this message and it's like it's like, yo, who can I who can I teach to? Like it, it applies the same way. Like who can I teach to that that will hear it and it won't fall upon deaf ears? Like I'm not like I'm not trying to teach nobody with like deaf ears, bro. Like so dogma. We were talking about we were talking about being raised you know, like all my childhood, I was raised like Christian. And that in Babylon, it's like, it's straight, it's straight dogma. Like you basically, you basically get forced by your parents, by family, friends. It, it's like, it's almost like peer pressure, bro. Like just to, for your, it's peer pressure for your beliefs. Like, and and I see people falling for that so much nowadays, and it's like, it's like, wow, you're giving your 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 power away, you're giving your control away, you know, you are God. So at the end of the day, you know, for me it was like it was like I was believing in, uh, I was believe, you know, subconsciously it gets you believing in like Jesus. So then you 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 go look at Jesus and it's, he's white you know, this white Jesus, and you're like, man, it doesn't look like me, but, you know, it's kind of like whatever, but subconsciously, your, your subconscious can't tell the difference between, between you, your, yeah, your subconscious can't, can't tell the difference between you and, and, and the leaf, it, it can't tell, it, it doesn't know any difference between, you know, me saying something and my reflection saying something. So it's just all me. It's it's all me talking. So growing up, believing these things, it got stuck deep inside of my subconscious and everyone else around me then had control over me. You feel me? They could, they could, they could tell me whatever. And because of my programming, I would have to, I would have to, you know, sit there for, for hours upon hours just to be programmed with something that innately I, I knew it was, it was like some fuck shit. Like, it was like, yo, I got to sit up here. I got to sit in church for, for hours upon hours and basically give my power away whoa whoa hold on hold on so that's why i'm grateful now you know like i'm i've been enlightened to the point where it's like all i all i have to do to know you know what's, what's church for me all i have to do to know that the truth that i am god is to plant my feet on the ground i don't i don't Bro, it's been it's been months since I've worn shoes, bro. Like my feet are always connected to the earth. And and I'm I'm so grateful for that, yo. Like I'm so I'm so grateful for the fact that I, I was able to be woke up. And I'm always I'm always do you know how important it is to ground, yo? If you're if your body is getting any any low frequency uh, 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 electricity, any low 
any low frequency electric waves flowing through your body like a cell phone if you're holding a cell phone you're we did the we did the uh we did the test the other day your foot could be touching low muscle welcome, welcome. your foot could be freaking touching a wire and you would have electricity flowing through you now as soon as electricity gets in contact with your body it starts flowing through your body and it starts disrupting your cells one at one volt your cells will stop communicating with each other if electricity is flowing through your body and if you have if you have rubber under your feet or if you if you're not grounded, if you're up in the fourth story with a cell phone, you're not grounded, yo. You you so what you gotta do is walk outside, put your feet on the earth, because you'll get stressed. This stresses out your nervous system. And the more the more it happens, the more you you'll see you'll see the issues, yo. Like it's no joke. It's no joke. And that's Man, that's that. Yo, like, don't. You gotta go ground, yo. You gotta go ground. Like, go outside. <laughs> like, go outside right now. Like, bro. You you don't understand. I'm always grounded. I'm always grounded, bro. Like, always. Like, if I if I if I know that I'm not grounded, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out of there. Like, as soon as because. It's serious. It's serious, yo. Like, I know when I'm not. If if I if I am not grounded for like thirty seconds, bro, I can feel it. I can feel it, bro. Like, and and it's stressful. Like, it, it's it's, bro. You'll have you'll have like pains. You'll have. That's that's where all disease starts, yo. Because the earth. Look, the bottom of your feet. I can't really show you right now, but the bottom of your feet are less pigmented for a reason the bottom the this part of your hands the bottom of your feet are less pigmented for a reason so they're nodes like the bottom of a battery it's the same thing with your hands and your feet you feel me the bottom of your hands and your feet are nodes they 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 transfer in and out electrons electrons from the earth the earth carries free electrons. It's called telluric energy. And when you step on the earth, when you take your shoes off and you step on the earth, any electricity, any stress, any, any free radicals, you know, any uh, toxins that you have in your body are trying to escape your body in a certain way. So once you step on the earth, you, you step on the dirt, you step on the grass, the the, the free radicals will be able to release from your body and the electrons from the earth will be able to to uh, to come in and stabilize your blood flow this is this is this is what releases blood clots a lot easier so we sleep on the earth we, we, we stand on the earth we sit on the earth like we're always we're always connected to the ground like even in even in the house like the house is leveled to the ground so we're not you know high above it disconnected because the concrete you got to even know the concrete yo like the concrete uh it doesn't slow it, it doesn't stop the, the 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 flow of telluric energy but it slows it down so you would still be getting that grounding but at the same time you know you want to be you want to be somewhere like like real natural you want to be you want to be in nature somewhere you know like that that's why i had to i had to get up out of there man like you can't you can't stay in, in an environment you know that you know is 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 uh it's good tone misha you can't stay in an environment that is uh pretty much destroying every cell in your body it's fractal, yo. Your your the cells in your body look at you as God. 
your God to, to every living cell in your to every cell in your body, your God. And everything is fractal. So what you see, what you see outside, external of you, is internal. So you so you walking around, the cells in your body look like you. You walking around is like you walking around inside of your body. The way the way that you're able to 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 do what you do is because you you are an organism. You're a cell. Cells are organisms. Cells have cells have atoms. You feel me? They have they have cells have cells in, like dude, it's it's all fractal. So if you look at oh shit, if you look at a um if you look at a if you look at a cell inside of it it has a nucleus inside the nucleus it has the the atom which is the dna it has the 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 proton it has the neutron and it has the electron you feel me inside inside that nucleus it's all it's all fractal and if you look inside that 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 uh that atom the it's just energy it's it's an energy vortex and inside it's just spinning it's it, everything is like is is it's basically nothing it's it's 99 percent nothing and then it's just like the atom with the nucleus the 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 protons and the electrons in it like a little spinning spinning tornado with with, with uh with material with matter in it you feel me so you got you got the the you got the dna in the in the proton and you have the electron which brings movement then outside of that outside of that nucleus you have the cytoplasm which carries which which copies it has it has a uh, it has the the uh it has the amino acids and the uh the amino acids are, are basically they're they're a part of micro RNAs. You feel me? They they take and they copy uh they copy information. That's basically what you are, your information. They copy an information inside the nucleus and taking it to other parts of the body to, to develop, to heal, to do all things. You feel me? And outside, so so you have the cytoplasm, that's the, the cell. Once you once you come out of the cell, then you have the cells make up a bunch of tissues and then the tissues make up the organs and then the organ makes up the organ system you feel me if you look at a dendrite cell it looks it looks just like me you feel me it it we look at it through microscopes so we don't see it the same way but it is it is exactly what 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 we look like to 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 it it looks like us you feel me so we have to understand that we're cells in our own body and we're walking around we're walking around with with not connected to our body you feel me we're walking around with with with, with uh jays on from Foot Locker. you feel me you you just got you got you just got the new you just got the new jays from from Foot Locker and isn't isn't it amazing how they call it Foot Locker, bro isn't that amazing? Just think about it. Foot Locker. They're locking your feet. <laughs> They're locking your feet into some, some, some rubber so that you won't have any connection to what you are. Think about that. Foot Locker, bro. Like, that shit, that shit fucked me up. When I really thought about it, when I learned this information, I thought about what Foot Locker does. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the first step, man. Like you want to be, you want to be, because I thought about this being healthy and wealthy throughout my life, and I was like, man, how do I do it? And I watched every, bro. Like I've watched so much. I've watched so much health information. I've watched, I've watched so much, and you know, the things that make the most sense are the hardest to find. You feel me? You you notice that 
you you won't really find the stuff that that'll actually change your life you know people people have all this information and they're not applying it to their life you feel me you can you can you can know you can know all the the it's crazy all when we were in school all the applied knowledge all the all the all the math all the all the science classes all the literature classes they only taught you how to apply within a limited system you feel me they only they only taught you to to how to survive and how to how to thrive in their world in babylon so it's like if you really wanted to if you really wanted to uh to to be wealthy to be wealthy you have to know to be wealthy is to have resources you feel me do you do you have resources you know cuz to have resources you have to be connected to the source you have to be you have you have to be close to the source so really ask yourself do i have resources if you're if you're somewhere in a city if you're i i could see i could see people that that live in you know cities that are rural i see i see people that if you live in a rural area like if you live on the countryside if you live somewhere that's close to an ocean that's that's you doing you doing you know you you might be doing slightly slightly well but it's like if you live if you live in let's just take like like where I, where I portaled out of I portaled out of uh of Los Angeles you know close to, I was in I was in Los Angeles downtown LA uh you know my neighborhood it she was it was crazy you know like Van Nuys the, the San Fernando area it's 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 packed feel me it is a condensed area that you know they pack they pack people into for for a certain for a certain uh uh for a certain system for a certain purpose you know and out here in the jungle it's crazy cuz out here in the jungle bro i do not see people i do not i don't see ambulance i don't see you know you don't you don't you don't see those types of things you know you don't see people getting injured and dying like you don't you don't see it you don't see it out here bro like it's it's very rare you know like so you know we look in we look in the cities and that's basically what they are like why do you have to have why do you have to have uh uh, uh why do you have to have businesses on every corner that promote death like they'll sell you death why is there a 711 on every corner why is there a mcdonald's on every corner every corner bro every corner there is there is a business that is perpetuating your death and then they have businesses that they they'll also sell you they're they're selling product they're selling source you know they 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 have businesses that will sell you uh um things that you can aid your symptoms with that you get from the places that are that are killing you yo that are selling you this death so it's a cycle you have to look at it like a cycle like wow okay i'm i'm getting i'm getting I'm getting uh cared for right now. I'm getting healed. I'm going to this hospital just to go kill myself a little more, you know, just just to make myself a little more sick. To go heal myself, to go make myself a little more sick. And they're it's like they're squeezing, they're squeezing people dry. They're squeezing people from from their life. They're taking life source from people. You feel me 
dog. And you have to look at these stores. You have to look look inside of these stores, what they have, bro. Like, there, it, there's nothing but death in there. Like, okay, if if you go, okay, even if you go inside of a Seven Eleven now, because I've 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 seen the Seven Elevens, bro. Like, they're they got a little fruit in the front. The fruit is GMO, dog. Like, the fruit's not even real fruit. It's not even, bro, bro, ah, <laughs> yo, bro, like. I swear, kids, this this next generation, this next generation that's 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 gonna come, bro. They won't even, they won't even understand where fruit comes from. You feel me? They they won't. You know, you can learn about these things in in an institution that is just reprogramming you to die, but you can't really experience these things. That sounds like. That sounds like a, another realm. That sounds like that sounds like a prison to me. That sounds like what a prison is. You know, and 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 I I have you know, I got I got a lot of empathy for for all the uh, all the people that are going to be stuck there, man. Like Whew. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The water, the water is done. Chemicals all in the water. You know, you know, there's fluoride in the water. So you can get taught about the water cycle in an institution that, man, even, even the schools, even, even your elementary school to your middle school to your high school it's like it's like real jail you feel me in college like if you go to college you know you have a little more options on what you can eat but if you're in in elementary school middle school and high school bro the temptation is right in front of you and they're in there and sometimes that's all they have bro like bro you know you know how many kids go to school do you know how many kids are are enrolled in United States public school right now? Whoa. Whoa. Bruh, that's like that's genocide on a whole nother level. On a whole nother level, bruh. Like what? Wow. And then you look at the water, everybody is drinking this tap water. Everybody's drinking water, bro. Like, everybody's drinking the water. Like, I see people that that would not even hesitate to, to cook with the water, to, to, to drink it, to wash their skin with it. Gave me the chills, man. That, that, that really gives, thinking about it is like, no, no. No, bro. It should be like that. It should strike most people like that. You feel me? Like, like what? You doing what, bro? Bro, you literally, yeah. yeah. Like, like you, when you get to the tropics and you start living more naturally, you see, you see people start to look different. Like, and and then you don't. Like, cause your body, your body is only supposed to apex. You feel me? Like you're supposed to, you're supposed to get to a certain, uh, maturity and then your body is just supposed to, uh, to, to, and you think about, and you think about it, hold up. if you think about it, oh, it's not, if you think about it, um your cells die you feel me you you basically like like they talk about how your skin sheds and and you you get new uh you get new layers of skin that come to the top every once in a while 
it's like that. I think every thirty, every thirty days, thirty to forty days, all all of your cells die and they replenish. You feel me? So it's almost like almost like your blood too. Let me make sure I'm stepping on them. I need to get some stuff. <laughs> It's almost like your 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 blood cells too. Your blood cells have hemoglobin in them with oxygen. You feel me? And it's vibrating at a state where it is solid. You feel me? Because all the minerals that are in there are like solid, but then at the same time they evaporate. You feel me? They're able to evaporate in the gas form so easily. That's why, man. Like you. You're literally solid because because your your blood cells turn to oxygen, and that's what you use. That's that's what you know. That's what your uh. That's what you basically are. You're your breath. This is the only the only way that you can actually be in this in this uh in this earth plane. Here, conscious is to have breath. If you don't have breath, you get you're out of this realm. You feel me? That's why the honorable uh. Master Chief Elijah, the Christ, yo, like he he said, like it, he got it from Master Chief Jutron. He said, yo, if I was to knock you out, if I was to punch you in your chest and you lose all your breath, I'm basically knocking you out of your body. I'm knocking you out of this plane of existence. You feel me? And man, it where do we come from? Like, you have to think about it. Once you're not conscious, it's like, where do we come from? Where are we truly from? You feel me? If we're if if you're a cell inside your body, if you're inside your body and you know you're God, then where's your higher self? You feel me? If you're inside of your body right now. Stuff crawling on me. Oh no, that's what all right, yeah, if you're inside of your body right now, where are you actually located inside of your body? What kind of cell are you? Hmm. What kind of cell am I inside of my body? Huh. So, if, if I'm a cell inside of my body, and I had to think about what kind of cell I am. When I come, think about being, think, think about if you were to look at yourself in the mirror. And, damn, this spider's going at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that was a leaf. All right, but think about it. If you're a cell inside of your body and and you want to figure out what part of your body that you're in right and you and you you have the same kind of process every day you go to sleep you wake up you go to sleep you wake up you go to sleep you wake up every single day right and when you when you leave outside of this body what do you remember what do you take with you what do you you know what do you have when you leave this body that's the answer right there I, I kind of just answered my own question right there. Like, I don't know if anybody else in the room can answer this question. Like, where are you when you when you leave your body? What can you take with you when you leave your body? You know, what are you when you leave your body? I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second to answer if you want to answer. Nothing. Nothing. Truly, truly, we are nothing. Existing nowhere. You know, you could ask somebody, if somebody was to ask me, yo, where, if I, if I was to ask them, where are you located? They would probably be like, yo, I'm located, I'm located, uh, I'm right here. And I'm like, where is here? And they're like, okay, I'm I'm in the jungle. And I'm like, where is the jungle? You feel me? 
And they're like, okay, somewhere in Central America. Okay, where's Central America? Um, it's part of the Americas. It's on it's on Earth. Okay, where is Earth? Okay, it's in the it's in the Milky Way galaxy. Earth is in the Milky Way galaxy. All right, where is the Milky Way galaxy? It's in the universe. All right, where is the universe? Huh? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> so when you go to sleep, when you close your eyes and you wake up and you go to sleep, you you're nowhere. You're nothing. Truly, when you close your eyes, you're going back to where you came from, which is nothing. God plays a terrible, terrible, terrible game with itself, trick on itself. It's an illusion. All of this is an illusion. You feel me? But this is the fun part of the game. This is the fun part. You feel me? God would be, God would be, God doesn't want to be bored. That's why, that's why we're here. That's why I am here. This is what God is. God, God wants to, to experience life subjectively. And what better way to do that than to forget that you're God? So you could play the game easier. So you could stay within the game. It's an amazing thing, yo. Like, yeah. Yeah, yo. Good answers. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, yo. All of that is nice, but at the same time, you're here. So you have to master yourself. You know, this is a proving ground. Feel me? The game, you want to you wanna pass the game. You want to be successful in the game. And you want to be right. You want to be right. And you want to be the best, right? So, that's why, you know, throughout all these different reincarnations of yourself, different ages, you know, you've you've left yourself. You've left yourself information that you can get the truth, so that you could so that you can know yourself truly. You feel me? So you just have to you just have to study astrology. You know, study study your astrological program. You feel me? Study how. The pattern of your mind goes because that in all all in all if you want to you want to be successful in this game then you have to know what obstacles are coming at you you feel me you have to know you have to know uh the the ins and outs you know you got to know the shortcuts you know you don't want to have to deal with a lot of a lot of a lot of bullshit you know you want to skip that so study yourself study study biology which is which is the microcosm it is it is biology is not just below it's cuz when we when we when we talk about below we talk about like microorganisms you feel me biology is also is you you are biology you're you're made what you what you are made up of is cells. You're you you are literally walking biology. So if you if you want to study yourself, you will study biology. Definitely. Also, uh, um, epigenetics, which is a is, is pretty much it's a form of biology, but it shows epigenetics and astrology are like one they're like mixed together because they're they're the uh they're basically the macrocosm you feel me epigenetics talks about the world the earth as a whole you feel me and then the, and then there's the what we would call the cosmos or outer space you know all the stars you feel me that's the that's the macrocosm and when you look out into the stars that's you you feel me it looks 
far away and it looks spread out, but it's really just it's really just DNA. It's information. It's 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 in a certain alignment because we're neuron cells. We're basically the part that we're inside of our body, the part that we're at is the is the brain. We're in the we're in the brain. That's why you're 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 shaped the way that you because you can you can see what you are. You feel me? You can you can understand that that yo like I have a nervous system because I'm in the brain. I know this because I'm in the brain. I have a nervous system. I have uh, uh, my nervous system extends to different places from from my mind, from my brain. You know, we call it a brain, but you know, there truly is no brain. There's just a mind. There's just thought, which is consciousness. <laughs> but let me show that little spider. <laughs> spider. <laughs> um, we we call it a brain because when if you were to if you were to you know if you were to see a brain externally, it, it's an object. But the brain is encased in darkness. You feel me? So, you know, that's what we are. We're we're complete darkness. We're nothing, and the brain is encased in that nothingness. You know, when you take it out of the head, that's when it becomes something a figment of your imagination that you could look at. And be like, all right, this is this is this is what this is. But truly, it's encased in darkness. You're when you go back to sleep, you're in darkness, right? So this is where it gets heavy, bro. This is where it gets this is where it gets super heavy. So your brain is always encased in darkness, yet it has all these senses. It, it's able to interpret. The senses in your uh, uh, that you that you that you feel as externally, you know, you have your sight, you have your 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 taste, you have your touch, you have your your hearing, and you have your smelling. You feel me? Six people in a room, six people in a room, right? Your brain, your skull is the room, and you're one of those people in that room. But you don't leave the room. You have the other people, the other five people go out, which is sight, smell, taste, touch, and, and hearing. You have them go out for you, and then you have them come back. And you have them, you have them tell you their experience. You feel me? That's basically what's happening because that shit blew my mind. Because you're never, you're, you're always... You're always your your consciousness, but at the same time, you're able to to uh, externalize from your from your program what you are are uh, what you're thinking, how your mind is. You feel me? We're we're just programs, yo. We we operate in a certain way. You know whether that's masculine or feminine, and we we execute a program through our senses and the way that we look externally like 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 the way that the way that my body looks the way that my my face looks the way my shit the way i'm shaped you feel me is all a projection of my astrological programming you feel me my mind is this way so my body manifests in in this way me but um yeah man that was that's just some of the technologies of the body like like you got astrological programming you know you got how we're cells in the body what kind of cell you are your neuron cell and then you got how how uh how your mind how your consciousness and you come from nothing and you you uh, manifest into this external being that that can feel. You know, you you just came here to feelize. You know, to 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 experience subjectively is to feel. You feel me? Like if 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 we didn't have a nervous system, if we weren't uh, sympathetic beings, 
If we didn't have emotions, if we couldn't feel, there would be no use for this. The only, the only, you know, King Solomon said, it, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your splendor, enjoy your food, enjoy your riches, you know, enjoy what you have, enjoy luxury, enjoy nature. You feel me? Enjoy your life. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, reflection, this, it's been a beautiful build. <laughs> like, man, super rebuild it. I should have invited some of my peeps so they could learn something, but uh, yo, Ura, peace reflection. But yeah, man, is there anything someone say? But yeah, yo, you you are literally, you're literally inside your own body, treated with. Love. Love is understanding, yo. And don't worry about anybody that's on a negative frequency because they're trying to pull you out of the love frequency. You feel me? Just, they just gotta, they gotta understand you. And the way that they understand you is for you to control yourself with, with, with all anger is it's just hurt that's all anger is it's a it's a response to being hurt and behind that hurt is just a misunderstanding yeah so them them pulling you to to their frequency is just a test to you it's just a part of you it's an obstacle that's inside of you showing yourself showing showing like man okay this is this is me yo like this is this is my response hmm. this is how i really respond to things how can i change you know how I, internal like internalize that and and externalize it at the same time like yo this is me all right Yo, bro, blah, 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 blah. Heal that with inside yourself. You know, if if it's not a conversation that you can have with them, heal it with heal it with somebody else. But but always talk about it, yo. Always heal that conversation that's going on. Cause it's inside of your body. You gotta take care of your body, yo. You feel me? And and for us, it's it's people tearing. The first way, the first way to take care of your body, you know, the most important part of this whole existence and this this whole plane is is people. We're all connected. We're all connected to each other. So, you know, before food, before your environment is is people. We're an important part. We are a very, 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 very important part of the ecosystem, bro. Like we got to take care of each other. We got to. And the ones that don't, prophecy of Isaiah, bro, they're going to get washed away. They're going to get washed away. It's revelation time, bro. But yeah, I love my self-reflection. Peace.